Hey everyone, Matt from Workshop Tinkers here. Uh, today we're going to do the second step of the ramps uh, video series, which is to take this ramps with the Arduino and the drivers and change it into this, fully wired, ready to go. Um, as I don't have all the wires and stuff ready to go for this one, and actually this printer is not getting upgraded. It's staying stock. Uh, I will have to be referencing my fully populated one at points. But I will go through step by step of, and try to cover everything that you need to plug in and what you have to think of. First we're going to start with the power. This green part is positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, which is uh, quite easy to remember because black is negative, red or yellow is positive on most wiring, normally red, but in this case yellow. But uh, you can either use a standard 12 volt big power supply, like uh, this one. This is a uh, 30 amp, which is a 360 watt power supply. You can use a, a power supply similar to that comes with the 101 Hero, like, uh, like so. You can use these. Uh, I wouldn't use this exact one. I'd get a, at least a 10 amp. Just for uh, capacity's sake. I also personally have been using a PC power supply using something like this. Uh, this is just a splitter. The other ones I got, if you have PCIe power adapters, that's what these two came from. And they work perfectly well. I personally will unsolder or cut off the green and solder them. I like that much better as that is a fail point for these boards. Having something like this, you can actually use just the splitter, cut off the ends, and solder them in, or screw them in, whichever you prefer. So that's step one. Step two, uh, one of the more complicated parts, quote unquote complicated depending on who you are, are the steppers. Now you have several options, color styles, sizes, and whatever that you can use. Uh, these are the, the stock ones and if you cut that red wire and scratch out the center it will act as a normal the same as the rest of these and can be used with the ramps. Of course I'm not going to use them because because I don't want to. Anyways, but you can use the stock steppers with the ramps. The only thing you have to change are these center two pins need swapped. As you can see, I did. The pink and the yellow are swapped. But that is needed only if you're using those same ones. Otherwise, you can get NEMA 17s, this is a NEMA 17 pancake, not as powerful but smaller. You can also get NEMA 14s which are in my Arduino, or in my Hero so you're not going to get to see them. The reason why I have all these out here is you have, it doesn't really matter what colors the wires are. Some of them will come pre-terminated, others come pre-terminated, others <laughs> will come just bare wires. If you get bare wires you will need to terminate them some way, shape, or form. Uh, either you get a kit and you can either very carefully crimp it with pliers, you can get a kit and get crimpers, or you can harvest the crimps and wires from say, you know, a old PC and solder it on or terminate it some other way. It doesn't matter, there's some ways that are neater and cleaner and easier than others, and some are more difficult, but if you're not like me, an excuse to buy a new tool, well, you'll have to deal with and figure out solutions. So, steppers, uh, once you get them, and when you get just bare, you will get a wiring diagram similar to, sorry about the movement, similar to that. What is important is to know the order so A C B D in this one this is just the one I found it doesn't matter so A B C D is needed to know 
just follow the order. You just want to know the colors and keep them in the order that they display here. So that will matter for uh, movement. But if you if you get a normal pre-terminated one, they're already in the correct order. So once you get pre-terminated, you just plug them in to the three spots for X, Y, Z, and then you'll have one for your extruder. Just plug them in. It doesn't matter which way they go, they just go on the four pins. And the Z will have two sets of four pins. Just pick one. doesn't matter. They're in parallel. You put them in there. And I'll explain why the order doesn't matter right now when you first plug them in in the next video when I go through the Marlin and settings and stuff. Because uh, you won't know for sure which order it is in most cases, or if you're smarter than me, you might, but I just guess and check, as it's easier for me. So that's the steppers. Next are these set of threes. These are your end stop sensors. Y min, Y pot, or I don't remember which ones. Min, max, min, max, min, max, min, max. So what these are, this inner row here is your power, your ground, your sensor. Now, unpowered sensors, like the 101 Hero and a lot of any micro-switched 3D printer are unpowered. You want to ignore this row here. A lot of people will cut off that row so you don't accidentally short anything out, which has happened to me more than once. I accidentally plug it in wrong and the magic blue smoke comes out. Now, for this, with the 101 Hero specifically, you will either need to Take your sensors and cut off the end and re-terminate it with uh, an end like this. You can make a little jumper with pins on one side that go on. And uh, it's got the terminals on the other that fit right on there. Or you can get something like this, which has pins and terminals and plug it in or... There's a number of ways, but what you need to do is take a three wide down a two wide. And these white ones don't fit, so if you take it out and reorder it, it still doesn't quite fit. So uh, you can get kits like this, which will let you do it yourself. You can take pre made wires, cut them, solder them. You can take something like this and just peel off two and use them. Uh, if you want a nice, neat solution, Harry Chung uh, has a blog called 101superhero.blogspot.com and he has a picture of his uh, solution to this problem. And it's quite elegant. It's much neater looking than my bundle of wires that I use. So I don't, I'm not complaining about my bundle of wires. Uh, but more solutions. He also has a full... Uh, upgrade to the 101 Hero to the same as what I have fully upgraded all new steppers and extruder except he used NEMA 17. I used NEMA 14 because I was trying to get it to match up to the pre-existing holes it just didn't work. Okay so that's steppers, sensors. Next one or end stop sensors. Next one is the thermistor. Your thermistor is the heater heat sensor for your hot end. That goes on these six pins here called T0, T1, T2. That is thermistor 1, thermistor 2, thermistor 3, or hot end 1, hot end 2, heated bed. Yeah. Uh, and it, it the ones that you buy online, I believe, are pre-terminated. You just put them on the one that says T0. So next, you have two things left to do. One is the hot end itself, which the one that I bought were just crimped on or bare wires so I added a little solder they're just screw terminals you put it in is T10 is the one I so how I have it set up is hot end hot end bed T10 is the hot end uh, the other one is the uh, cooling fan for the hot end it is a constant on you have a couple options for this as well I added two pins to this one which are not here those two holes there. You have to add them yourself. Either add the wires directly. I believe I crimped on this connector and soldered in. I know I soldered in the pins. You can also bypass going through the ramps completely 
and go directly off a, a power supply of what, some way, shape, or form, either a completely standalone one or part of one of these or plug it into a adapter on a PC power supply. Doesn't matter, it is 12 volt for the J head uh, E3D hot end clones, ones that look like this. So, and you do have to get the correct polarity. If you get it wrong, it just won't work, so reverse it. Uh, and yeah, and then hook up your display. If you have a display, yours might look slightly different from mine if you have different models. And mine has a SD card in it already because I was using the SD card to print things. Uh, that is all the wiring for, I just want to throw out here, this is, can be either thermistor, thermistor, hot end, thermistor, ho or hotbed, thermistor, thermistor, hotbed, thermistor, hotbed, cooling fan, or some combination thereof. It's all in the firmware that will adjust that. If you have a part cooling fan, you'll probably want to hook it into this and you have a variable speed and ability for the ramps to control it on and off. Uh, I believe I've hit all the wiring for this. There is a lot of decisions you have to make yourself on how exactly what's within your abilities and your supplies in your budget to do. I, of course, as I said, I bought my crimps and my crimpers so I can make the nice pretty ends myself and I do have, I've had a soldering iron for years so I solder my own everything. Uh, there are decisions you have to make on how you do that. There are easier ways of doing it, harder ways of doing it, neater ways of doing it because this is a little bit of a mess. But that is the basics. You'll have four steppers total, three sensors, or three end stop sensors, one hot end sensor, a hot end, and power. And then your cooling fan total when you're all said and done. The display is, might change depending on which one you have. You might not use it at all. It isn't needed. It is nice though. And then Arduino. So that's it for today. I will be showing more in depth. I will be doing a how to get the Marlin firmware configured and then on this and then I will show you how to verify it's working. Most likely that will be two different videos because just length. I'm trying to keep these to about 15 minutes. If you have questions, things you want me to cover in videos, I will probably, if people are asking questions, throughout these videos as I put them up. Uh, I will probably do a question and answer type video where I take your questions that you've asked and try to answer them to the best of my abilities. As I said, I'm not an electronics person. I follow directions I find and then tinker with it until I figure it out. So that's it. Uh, thanks everyone so much for watching. Keep tinkering.